This is our music controller. This little jack is for the audio signal in. Hook it to your phone, get it off your amp, however you want to do it. By the way, these pop off, make it a little bit easier to mess with. Positive and negative. This is a gain control. This basically, when you the signal from the amplifier or phone, this controls how sensitive the uh, music is going to adapt to the live feature. You have these, these pop off too, both of them, making you wire it easier. You have positive, B, blue, green, red. Also referred to as red as channel one, channel two, channel three, RGB. This regulator included, we're going to give you the appropriate regulator for whatever light you buy. This controller can run up to three lights. You can either hook one to this, two to this, or just pick one. Run your one light you purchased, or maybe two. Use both channels, it's fine. What you're going to do with the regulator that we provided you with, on the back side there'll be a sticker on what's input and what's output. This thing can receive anywhere from 10 to 32 volts. So obviously 12 to 24 volts is fine, but it's going to put out a 12 volt signal labeled which one's positive and negative. This will go to your uh, 12 volt source, to a switch, whatever you want to do. Make sure you fuse any circuit. You'll take yellow in this case to positive on the controller, black to negative, ground. Then you'll have your RGB wires. There's a brown, a green, a blue, and a yellow. The way this works, blue will go to positive. Brown wire on our light will go to the blue terminal. Green to green. The yellow wire goes to the red terminal. So red, green, blue, that's the colors of the configuration. This will run up to three of our lights. This is the RF remote control that goes with it. There is no ability for this thing to receive a cell phone signal. It only works off this remote, this color wheel. This is on and off. Here's all the different little features. Take some batteries in the back. Double A, uh, triple A, they're not included. So, has a little holster, has an audio cable with it. If you're watching this video, probably already know that. If you purchase more than three lights and you follow the uh, on-screen instructions about on RGB that you need this amplifier, this is the amplifier. This little connector right here, pretend like you don't see it, we don't use it. This is the input, you'll see B positive, RGB, red, green, blue. The output will have positive, negative, then B positive, red, green, blue. Now, this powers up to three lights. We would have given you the appropriate regulator for this. If you purchase more than three lights and you got this controller and you hopefully bought this amp, then you will have another controller. The same thing here. This goes to 12 volts, the red and the black. This goes to the power in the ground. It gives power ground to the amplifier. So there's your power and ground to that. And the way this works, is it receives a signal from either one of these channels. So you'll parallel either one, however you want to do it, or you can use this. Use this, use this connection to run three lights. Use this one to come over here and put the signal to the input of the amplifier. Your regulator I just showed you, positive, negative there, and then your other three, your other three lights here. So, positive negative regulator powers this. Your other set of three lights paralleled on top of these studs. This connector comes off. All these green, every, whenever you see green connectors like these Molex, they come off. So you hook your three lights accordingly to the wiring instructions and what I just voiced on here. So you got amplifier, or regulator to amplifier to up to three lights. Regulator, controller, three lights, three more to there. Nice and simple light. These are not waterproof, okay? So 
show you a little trick we use. Go ahead and make fun of us if you want to, but have never had a problem with it. We actually get a Tupperware dish, okay? Find one that fits this, or fits both of them, okay? We put, this, this is something else right here, but what we do is we'll actually mount this to the transom or somewhere. Don't mount it to the side of your boat or the screws will come out of the side, more than likely. But what we do is we'll mount the controller inside, drill a hole, you can use a gland nut, or you can just drill a hole just big enough to run the wires through and stick you some 3M 4200, 5200, or whatever you want in there. Uh, 5200 is hardcore. Uh, it does not like to come off ever. 4000, you can work with it after it's dry and it's both waterproof. But you put your electronics in here, put your wires through, make the connections, close it up, and if it keeps food wet, food uh, or soup or whatever from getting from leaking, it keeps water from coming in. So go ahead and make fun of us if you want to figure out a better way, let us know. That being said, I think we're good with this one.